The Transport Minister says commuters should try and avoid public transport on extremely hot days. Patrick Conlon met with union officials today, convincing them there was nothing more he could do to make the buses cooler. Union leaders arrived talking tough. I'm looking for a resolution. But cooler temperatures allowed cooler heads to prevail. We've had the discussion with the union, but we have done all that can be done. Yeah, it, it, it's the best of the, uh, what we can come up with at this stage. The union conceding it jumped the gun with calls to reinstate disabled evaporative cooling systems on outdated buses. After further investigation, the age of the uh, evaporative air conditioners, the only solution for it would be to kick them off the top and put, put new air conditioning. It had also demanded the government provide cold water to commuters, which it already was. There were a few things that they weren't aware of and the public may not be aware of, such as the provision of water on, by the government on hot days. The union did manage to change the minister's policy on one key point. He's actually acknowledged that if uh, we get a 40 degree day this week, he'll come for, come for a ride with me. Yes, it is a stunt. I don't believe that me sitting on a bus is going to make any cooler for anyone. With no 40 degree forecasts on the horizon, he may never have to find out. The union says drivers are free to exercise their occupational health and safety rights and walk off the job if they don't feel safe. If they were to stop work, people would be stranded. Now, I don't believe our bus drivers would do that. His advice to commuters in extreme weather, don't commute. If it's 45 degrees as it was, that is a brutal day. If you don't need to travel, please don't travel. Tom Richardson, 9 News.